Hello and welcome to our ATG series called BIM 360 for Civil 3D. My name is Jeff Haney and today we are going to talk about the Autodesk Desktop Connector. This is the last video in our series. The Autodesk Desktop Connector is a downloadable um, plugin that will connect your BIM 360 with your Civil 3D and your File Explorer. This gives us convenience of our Windows desktop with the flexibility of our cloud. Um, some of the benefits is it connects everybody on your team, whether they're pulling up from their phone, their laptops, their computers. It lets everybody connect to the same environment with their BIM 360 Docs account. View and open files, upload and download documents, Add and delete files and create project folders just as you would on a file server. So let's see how that looks right now. If you uh, open up your Windows Explorer, you'll notice we'll see our BIM 360. If we click on it here. We go right into our projects area. And this is the one we have been working with for our folder structure. Notice these files are still the same as they were when we were looking at it on our BIM 360 docs area. So it looks like this. Here is how it looks on the cloud and here is how it looks on File Explorer. If we go through here we can also open up our files in Civil as well. Notice there's a BIM 360 area and it'll browse right to our projects. We can go ahead and hit file open and I have my shortcut over here but you can come in here and see that your BIM 360 is here. Just go in here search for it like you normally would and you can open up your files. What this is doing right now it's allowing us to uh, connect to BIM 360. It's asking if there is stuff available uh, or if it's checked out by somebody else or things like that. So it's giving us our information. Our data shortcuts is the same way. You still path it to here, just like we normally would set working folder and we'll browse to our project. So here it says BIM 360, ATG, our project folder, and where it's connected to. You can see there is a shortcut here, and we have it open. Saving it is the same way. Just hit Save as normal. And if we go back to our File Explorer, you can see where it says uh, what version it is currently. It says the author size of it and who is it locked out by. And it's saying me for now. So one thing you can notice if I hit save here, it's not telling me a version is available yet, but once I close this, and go back into my file explorer, I can see there's a version four and it's not locked out anymore. So this is how I can use my Autodesk desktop connector to connect to my projects on BIM 360 and still have that convenience and feel and look as I've always had with a file server. Thank you for joining our series and I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks. Bye. Yeah. <laughs>